I wanted to talk about how light-skinned women and biracial women should no longer take anti-light skin and biracial comments seriously. I know that the main people that are being attacked with this whole colorism trending topic argument is light-skinned women. We are often shown as these women that have all this privilege who are constantly standing in a black woman's spot who is constantly taking opportunities away from darker skinned women basically seen as a symbol that should be hated we are usually being used as a symbol for white supremacy light-skinned women even though we don't have any power in this country and we are also the victims of racism somehow lighter skinned women got all these privileges overnight and got all of this power overnight to be able to oppress dark skinned women and take things away from them. So I kind of wanted to give documented evidence with clips and with interviews on who is really to blame for colorism and why lighter skinned women keep getting dragged into this conversation unfairly. So we all know this person that I have up on the screen right now. This is Matthew Knowles, Beyonce Knowles' father. Um, he said that the only reason why that Beyonce is as famous as she is and as beloved as she is is strictly due to colorism and kind of implied it wasn't because of her hard work and talent or even his hard work and him pushing her as a manager, which is taking away from not only her, but it's also taking away from himself and his own work ethic. But when someone is bitter and has an agenda to destroy someone, they don't care if they make sense or not. So Matthew Knowles said that he married Beyonce's mother because she was light skinned and he had an obsession with women that were light skinned. What's never really delved into is who taught him to have a hatred for his own skin tone? Who taught him to only pursue lighter skinned women? Was it lighter skinned women holding him by the collar with a gun to his head saying you better date me over darker skinned women? No. Or was it his parents as he described in one interview? He claims when I was growing up, my mother used to say, don't ever bring no nappy head black girl to my house. Knowles told Ebony, in the deep south in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, the shade of your blackness was considered important. So I unfortunately grew up hearing that message. So you have the evidence right there that colorism is something that was instilled upon him by his own mother, his own dark skinned mother. Light skinned women had nothing to do with his self hatred. So why does he keep trying to drag down his ex light skinned wife and current light skinned daughter instead of his own mother? Which brings me to little Kim. As we all know, little Kim has had an extreme problem with skin bleaching and surgeries, trying to make herself appear to be a white woman. Um, in this picture right here, you see her face is ghostly white. I think we can all tell that she's narrowed her nose, her eyes look different, her lips look different. Um, she seems to have an extreme self-hatred for her skin tone. And it really seems like little Kim needs to be in therapy, not still trying to be famous, still trying to rap like nothing's wrong with her. Clearly something is going on with her psychologically. And in an interview, little Kim says, all my life men have told me I wasn't pretty enough, even the men I was dating. And I'd be like, well, why are you dating me then? Little Kim confesses, it's always been men putting me down, just like my dad. To this day, when someone says I'm cute, I can't see it. I don't see it no matter what anybody says. So once again, her parent, her dark-skinned father, instilled self-hatred onto his own dark-skinned daughter. Even white Brits see the hypocrisy when it comes to dark-skinned people trying to blame everybody else for their issues with colorism. Uh, this woman right here that you're looking at, this white woman, she is talking about how the main issue with colorism is darker skinned people attacking each other. And yet they keep wanting to blame outside sources like white people, like light skinned people, when the main issue is just them and their own mentality. And here's this woman here who agrees with the woman yet yet instead of acknowledging that this woman makes a good point she instead immediately has a knee-jerk reaction to argue with this white british woman and tell her that she's wrong and then reiterates the exact same point this white british woman is saying in her language 
um, go ahead and take a look for yourself. It, because in Africa, it, in Africa, and in fact, Matthew Knowles himself said that he had black parents, but in fact, he found himself looking for a whiter-skinned woman when he wanted to marry her. And he didn't right. feel it was a response to white people's attitudes. It was a response to black people's attitudes. And within that's Africa, that's Africa that's we that's know that. Within the community. That's within the community. And so no, where does that pressure accurate. come from? Is it a, a racist white that's, black that's pressure? Why, that's why, that's why I want to get some context. That's not entirely accurate because what I'm saying to you is the pressure from the black within the black community. So you just heard the white British woman saying that Matthew Knowles even claims it was pressure from his own people, his own parents, and even the other woman who you saw saying black pressure the woman that clearly was bleaching her skin, she's an African model who was who used to be very dark skin and now she bleached her skin to look paler and lighter. And this woman here immediately starts arguing with them and says, no, that's not true. And then you hear her at the very end of the video say, it's pressure from other black people within the community. So why is she arguing with them? You see how a lot of darker skinned women they're just in argument mode. They're just in fight mode. They're not trying to listen to rationality or reason. The main people who are responsible for giving darker skinned women a complex about their skin tone are either their parents or other dark skinned men. I even included some clips from the Tyra Banks show, which came out about 10 years ago, where darker skinned women are complaining about the people who made them insecure about their skin tone. Like good friends of mine, you know, we were out, it, they were lighter than me, and do I have to say this, Tyra, because this yeah. hurts. Don't say their names, but just say, tell me the story. They were saying, they said pretty much like, oh, all y'all pretty, y'all be straight if y'all didn't have her with you. Oh. You, need to you know what I'm saying? So Wait, who said that? A guy said It was said some that? guys. Said that when you were with Pretty much saying like, you know, because all I'm light skin and I was the only dark one. Mm. I was the only darker. And what that feel like? And I feel like my skin is much darker than everybody else. Now in this next clip, you'll see a dark skinned woman calling herself slave black, and then you'll see Tyra Banks' reaction to her calling herself slave black with shock and horror, like what is slave black? And I know that when lighter skinned women act like that, a lot of dark skinned women like to claim that we're gaslighting and we're pretending not to know certain terms when our parents did not raise us to think of ourselves like this. So somehow we can all kind of assume someone raised this poor dark skinned girl to call herself slave black. I'm slave black, that's it. That means I'm dark. What is slave black? That means that I'm really dark skinned. There's no other way. All the bad stuff associated with black people. I have people. been black for 34 years. I have never heard slave black. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like sometimes you can pass maybe for mixed or maybe white. That when you're slave black, you can't pass for anything what, other than black. Did you make this up? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it, yes. You yes. made up slave black, okay, because there were a lot of slaves of all different colors. Yes, but, there were, but, but when I say that, that's my express saying all the negative connotation, like you remember the field versus the house? Got it. I'm yes. in the field, there's no but way. But that's exactly the problem, the slave mentality, the connotation that being light or looking more like NASA is better than a person right. who is darker You're skin. Right. That's not my problem, that's society's problem. You can't change everybody, but you can change yourself when those girls and how you think of yourself. When so you just saw that clip of that darker skinned woman coining her own skin tone as slave black. I know that darker skinned women now are talking about melanin popping, I got melanin, all this kind of stuff, talking about their skin tone in a very positive light now, which I think is great but yet they try their best to tear down lighter skinned women. I didn't show it, but at the beginning of this clip, this darker skinned woman was attacking all the lighter skinned women on stage, telling them that their feelings of being rejected by their community were invalid. The same things we hear now from darker skinned women, that lighter skinned women's stories are invalid, unimportant, and just, you know, gaslighting for us to even talk about it. Um, 
you saw this lighter skinned woman had to speak up and say that's the issue. You shouldn't be thinking the slave master's skin or having a proximity to the slave master's skin is a prize or something that is seen as beautiful. The darker skinned woman is the one who sees lighter skinned women as having a privilege and seeing lighter skinned women as having more having prettier skin. The lighter skinned women don't see it that way and this is something that lighter skinned women have been saying over and over again that keeps getting ignored we're not try we're not proud to have a proximity or a skin tone that's closer to white people we're not proud of that that's something that darker skinned women are obsessed with not us and I also love how she said it's not my problem how society treats us differently or how you view your skin versus my skin that's not my problem and that's something that more light-skinned women need to say colorism is not our fault we didn't start it and it's not our issue it is something within the dark skin community to fix and solve here is a clip of yet another darker skinned black man who refuses to date dark skinned black women I know you don't know who this guy is or really have heard of this video because he received no backlash for the disgusting comments he's about to make about his own skin tone and women that have his skin tone but if it was a lighter skinned woman who's talking about green eyes she has to have her stuff burned to the ground she has to be put in her place right i know if i'm fucking with you i'm black and fuck right i'm black as shit yeah, black is beautiful though man so i know if if, if i fought with a black baby we gonna have a black ass baby so? I ain't with that. Why? Cause I'm already black as fuck. So? I can't. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, this is an interesting thing. You know what I mean? Like, so if you have a baby, you don't want your baby to be the same complexion as you? Mm. Why? It's a once in a lifetime thing. We all know who this person is, Kodak Black. Once again, another dark skinned man who got famous for disrespecting other darker skinned women, saying that he would never date a dark skinned hoe, um, excuse my language, and instead preferred lighter skinned women. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with preferring lighter skinned women. I think that you like what you like. Should he have disrespected darker skinned women? Of course not. That's not rational to bash your own skin tone just to say that you like lighter skinned women. Or why even say that out loud in the first place? Just date who you like. And if people have a problem with it, just say, I like who I like. Because no one is allowed to run who we date or run our choices in life, correct? We all are adults and we all get to make our own choices. But Kodak Black should have never said that about darker skinned women, but once again, it's a darker skinned person bashing a darker skinned person. Right here we have Gilbert Arenas. We know that he bashed Lupita for her dark skin. He made a statement about how she didn't look that good in the light, which was a disgusting statement. I think by now we've all seen this tweet right here where he says that everybody is saying her skin looks beautiful. How about her face though? Lights off. Y'all tag me like she got a facelift and she went from a three to a 10. Nope, she just a three in blue water with some blue blockers. This is no different than an ugly girl with a fat A. I'll still beat, but just with the lights off. But she is glowing though. Disgusting. I was horrified when I saw this tweet and I think I cried. But I heard another dark skinned YouTuber claim that lighter skinned women laugh and rejoice when darker skinned men make statements like this. I was never rejoicing. I remember somehow lighter skinned women got blamed for this and this is when darker skinned women started making videos talking about how ugly light skinned girls are and that we don't deserve the praise that we get from darker skinned men and all this kind of junk and I'm thinking it's clear that colorism has deeply hurt and affected a lot of darker skinned women but it also has affected lighter skinned women as well but this isn't about how colorism has affected lighter skinned people this video is specifically about darker skinned people and where they learn to hate their own skin where they learn to say such nasty and horrible things about their female counterparts why is it always about bashing? Why is it always about humiliating each other based off of the skin tone that you all share? And women and dark skinned women are not innocent because as you heard, Matthew Knowles said it was his dark skinned mother that made him hate his own skin and gave him a skin tone complex. And he tries to turn around and blame his light skinned wife somehow because he only married her because she was light. Like it's her fault that he chose her. 
So leave lighter skinned people out of this. This is clearly something that darker skinned people need to do amongst each other. You can't trade one colorism insult for another just because you're mad at this black man doesn't give you the right to make insults about lighter skinned women calling us ugly and trying to defame our character when we had nothing to do with what came out of this man's mouth he is a grown man talking ignorant like this this has nothing to do with lighter skinned women how do we keep getting dragged into this lighter skinned women have not taken dark skinned women's spots we have not taken opportunities away from you. We are human beings as well living in this society. We're taking our positions. We're taking our men that want us. We're not taking any men from you. If that man is hitting on us and we decide to marry him, then that is our man. We're not taking anything from you. Stop blaming lighter skinned women for all your problems. It's sick. It's sick and it's making lighter skinned women mentally sick as well because we're looking around like, what? We're on your side. We have your back also. A lot of lighter skinned women have defended darker skinned women. And there's videos all over YouTube where lighter skinned women are defending darker skinned women. So why do you keep acting like we're Cruella DeVille trying to bring you down and we love being favored by these men when that's just not the case? This is Buku Love. Thank you.